is me, a 14-year-old girl named Camden who loves herself, is happy and joyful, and takes care of her body, giving it everything and all the nutrients it needs. She's a ray of sunshine, right? Wrong. I've actually been struggling with my mental health a lot lately. I encourage others, but I have a hard time loving myself for who God made me to be. I decided it was time to make a change, so I'm going on my journey to loving myself and loving who God made me to be just the way I am. Welcome to Coping with Camden, episode one. In today's episode, I will be exploring journaling. On one of my favorite YouTubers channels, she made a video on how to make something she calls a glow up journal. So today I'm going to be making that journal to help me on my journey and I'll be using this journal in future episodes as well. Her video and channel will be linked in the description box. I highly recommend you guys check her out. She's so inspiring and inspired me to start on my journey. So first thing I'm doing in my journal is making kind of a vision board slash inspiration page that I can come back on whenever I'm feeling down or unmotivated. And this was so fun. I just took some time to think about what I really wanted in my life. And I just made a little collage and page to inspire me. I found a quote on Pinterest that said, we become who we want to be by consistently being who we want to become each day. This quote really stuck out at me and resonated with me. So I put it on this page in my journal and it really, really inspires me. Moving on to the next page, I designed my dream self. Who do I want to become? What do I want to change and what do I want to achieve through this journey? Without knowing that, how am I going to change? After designing what I wanted to become, I had to take some time to see where I'm at now and what I need to change for my current state to get where I want to be. The things I have really been struggling with lately are anxiety, my mental health, and truly loving myself. I also just want to improve my overall health and well-being. After pointing out my problems, I also took a minute to realize some things. To realize I can, I am capable through God who strengthens me, and I am stronger than I think. On the next page, after pointing these things out, I needed to make sort of a plan. So I wrote down the things that I need, and I also wrote down some words of advice to help me on my journey when I'm struggling or just need some, you know, motivation, which we all need sometimes. Chapter 1 Routines 
What I did in this chapter was design my ideal morning and night routine so that I can change my life day to day for the better. The next chapter is exercise. I made myself a little planner to stick with that has all of the exercise I will be doing in a week. And at the bottom, I also wrote down my purpose. Why am I gonna be exercising? When you know your why, it makes it easier to follow through with your routine and it also just keeps you motivated and helps you stay strong. So it's really important to know why you're doing something before you start doing it. Now it's time for chapter three, food. This is a very important chapter to me because it is something I really want to improve, which is my eating. Most of you probably know this, but I am vegan. Um, so I'm pretty healthy for the most part, but there's just some things that I want to improve and change. So for example, sometimes I eat like way too much processed foods and I want to stick more with whole plant-based foods. I also go through some stages where I feel really guilty about eating and I feel like I don't know I'm gonna get fat and stuff. I think that's normal, but it's something I don't want to happen. I want there to be no guilt or shame in my food world, just peace and joy. I also made a page about intuitive eating because it is something I want to start practicing. It's super difficult, but I just wanted to make this graph so I can help myself and make it a bit easier on myself. Now to address one of my biggest problems, anxiety. What am I gonna do when it hits? I needed to make a plan. So I made this page, which was not in um, Olivia D'Andre's tutorial, but I added it because it's something I really needed to help me on my journey. So I found this quote that says, all the advice in the world will never help you until you help yourself. Helping myself is something I struggle with. So I decided to make a list of things I can do when anxiety hits to help myself before like leaning on others for help. So this is my list. I also made a page about a plan of action. What am I going to do when it hits? What are the steps I'm going to follow? How am I going to get out of that situation and give myself peace and relax? Okay, now on to the last chapter, self-care. How am I going to give myself the care I need? I decided to make a list of different things I can do to care for myself. And I also made a page about self-love because that is something I struggle with.
Okay guys, so that was the process of me making my journal. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'm super excited for my future episodes of Coping with Camden.